Who's been eating my porridge? By Nick Ward. Who's been eating my porridge? Early one morning, little bear woke up with a rumble in his tummy. He crept downstairs as quietly as he could, but when he got to the kitchen, the porridge pot was nowhere to be seen. That's strange, said little bear. Mama always leaves it ready for breakfast. Just then, there was a knock at the door. Little bear lifted the latch and there, Stood. Little Billy Goat Gruff. Quick, let's run, bleated Billy. It can't have gone far. What do you mean? asked Little Bear. The porridge monster, cried Billy. Look, and he pointed to huge porridgey footsteps leading out of the door. It's taken our porridge too, explained Billy. Come on. So Little Bear and Billy set off to find their porridge. They hadn't gone far when they met Little Miss Muffet. Have you seen our porridge? asked the two friends. The porridge monster took it. No, but you can share my curds and whey, said Little Miss Muffet. Little Bear's tummy rumbled. Yes, please, he said, just as. Plop! A big hairy spider jumped into Little Miss Muffet's bowl. Eek! cried everyone. And away they ran over the hills and down the lane until they came to Jack's house. Have you seen our porridge? asked Little Bear and Billy. The big hairy porridge monster took it. No, but you can have some beans, said Jack. Little Bear's tummy rumbled. Well, he began when... Thump, thump, thump. An enormous boot appeared at the top of the beanstalk. It's the giant, yelped Jack. Run! And Little Bear and Billy and Little Miss Muffet and Jack ran and ran through the field and up to the forest where they met Little Red Riding Hood. Have you seen our porridge? panted Little Bear and Billy. The giant hairy porridge monster took it. No, said Little Red Riding Hood, but you can have some jam. Little Bear's tummy rumbled. Yummy, he said. But then, Yow! a terrible howling came from deep within the forest. It's the big bad wolf, cried Little Red Riding Hood. Run! And off they all ran through the forest and down to the stream, straight into the three bears who were coming home from holiday. Have you seen our porridge, gasped Little Bear and Billy? The giant hairy howling porridge monster took it. No, but you are welcome to join us for breakfast, dears, said Mother Bear. Little Bear's tummy rumbled. Thanks, he said, when suddenly... Look, cried Billy, the footsteps are back. Hmm, said Father Bear, they seem to be leading to my house. Little bear shivered. It must be the porridge monster, the giant, hairy, howling, hungry porridge monster. And it's going to eat us for breakfast. Everyone held their breaths as Mother Bear reached for the door. Slowly she turned the handle. Come on out. Whoever you are, she cried, and she flung open the door to find 
Goldilocks and pots and pots of steaming sticky porridge. Hooray! You got the invitations. Yummy! Everyone cried. It's a porridge party and monster portions of porridge were eating until no one could eat any more. Breakfast at last. Who's Been Eating My Porridge by Nick Ward